it is 9, 10, 10, 10 o'clock. Uh, I should have left like an hour ago, but I woke up 30 minutes ago, so awkward. But today is another day, but I don't know what's going to happen. You see, the plan is, Dad and I are going to take the boat out, the little tender. Uh, we've been out on it before. Uh, over to Wave Break. Because I said I was going to go back there when the tide will come back here. Definitely, actually. Take that back. Definitely come back here. Check it out, because I want to get some footage along the rock wall uh, and find some fish, see some species, and just document it all. Show you guys Wave Break. And we we're going to go see what the water was like uh, and if there's any fish around. We're also going to go check out that island, that little island I was on with the mangroves. So typically these will probably be submerged to maybe about here. Typically we'll have it up around here. And you'll have a bunch of fish just swimming in and around the trunks. Going to check that out as well uh, when the tide's high. And see what type of animals we can find, if we can find any. Um, and just get some more water footage because that's what this channel's about and I haven't been doing much of it. Uh, yeah, that's my B. My bad. So, that's that. That's today. Hopefully it all goes through and your faces will see some snorkeling and some boat riding. Okay, so we've just landed over uh, in the area where I did the mangrove stuff. So the mangroves are just down that way you can't really see but they're just over there and we're just on the opposite side or just directly across from them just behind or yeah behind us is just some seagrass that we want to check out now a few things that we need to be careful of is one this area apparently uh, has stingrays I uh, haven't seen them yet but if there are stingrays here we do have to be careful because we don't want to disrupt them and we don't want to barb in us uh, an unfortunate accident and secondly this is still open water so we do need to be careful of our surroundings such as boat traffic and as well as other species that may or may not use this area as refuge or as a breeding ground in saying that there are probably going to be some cool species that we might see here in the seagrass so i'll stop talking and we will jump in the water and check it out So we're currently at the mangrove area. Uh, we just snorkeled right behind me at the seagrass. Just come over to the mangrove to check it out. It's quite shallow. Uh, we might either walk across, see what we can find, if anything, um, yeah, or snorkel if the tides permit. Who knows? But yeah, see what we find. Uh, the Seagrass area wasn't as great as what we thought it was going to be. Quite silty, quite um, murky, I guess you can say. It was, I'd, I'd probably give it three meter viz at best. Uh, and we didn't really see the type of fish species we'd want to see. If you can't hear me, it's really windy. Uh, so sorry about that. <clears throat> yeah. Hop back in, check it out, and we might even move down to wave break if we get the time but yeah so we can find shallow yeah very shallow okay and you'll need your goggles on possibly look and 
see what it is. See what's under there. I'm just going to apply flat. Okay, so in this episode of Facts with Zach, I will be discussing one thing in particular, and that is mangroves, if you haven't already guessed that by looking at this video. So mangroves are actually an incredibly important sanctuary for a lot of fish species. And so in this footage, you can really only see um, a bunch of brim uh, swimming along the roots of the mangroves, and that's mainly because the tide was rushing out you know it was getting really low um as you can see i was just standing like barely standing it was not even reaching knees i was just above the ankles um but in saying that they are still important sanctuaries for fish and several studies have shown that areas with mangroves actually have a 25 times more species on the reefs than those uh without mangroves so Areas with mangroves not only benefit fish species, but they will also benefit humans by providing a lot of coastal protection in trapping sediments, uh, and therefore de uh, increasing downstream water quality by trapping sediments upstream. The roots will also help stabilize coastlines and prevent erosion from wave action. And this in turn will help protect sensitive habitats such as reefs that are downstream or a lot of coastal beaches. Mangroves are incredibly important for fighting climate change. And this is because they have the ability to sequester carbon through photosynthesis. So what they'll do is they'll take CO2 out of the atmosphere during photosynthesis and it'll be trapped in branches, roots, and dead leaves, which will then be taken up by the soil or the mud. And this will be typically trapped for not only 10 years or hundreds of years, but for thousands of years. So therefore it'll take away the carbon emissions and trap them in the soils for long periods of time. And this will cause a slow breakdown of plant matter. However, in saying that they help climate change, they are also quite vulnerable to the effects of climate change in terms of sea level rising as a lot of these mangroves will be forced to push inland creating quite a difference in the way that they will sequester carbon in the future. So the little things that you see sticking up out of the water those are the mangroves pneumatophores. So think of the pneumatophores as a type of snorkel which allows the mangrove to take up a, a lot of the nutrients or a lot of the gases directly from the atmosphere and other nutrients such as iron from poor soil quality. These mangroves will then store the gases directly inside the roots using them even when the roots are submerged during high tides. That's really all I'll say for this part. Uh, just a real quick segment, uh, roughly about three minutes uh, of information and on mangroves. Uh, so I might as well just get on with the video and hopefully get back to this area when it's a lot higher tide and hopefully see a few more species. All right, so we've made it back onto the boat. It was actually quite successful. A lot more successful than we thought it would be. Uh, we saw a lot of life in the mangroves, which holds true to what I was saying last time, that they are a huge refuge to a lot of juveniles and adults, uh, either migrating, breeding, or even just feeding or resting in the area. So that was awesome to see. I uh, also saw a cool mud crab, uh, which was sick. I got some photos of that. If you want to check that out, like I said, head over to my Instagram. Uh, also, just cleaning up real quickly. Um, and I'm gonna grab food because the only thing I've had is breakfast and I'm hungry. So uh, yeah, I guess I'll chat to you guys soon. I don't know where this wind's coming from, over here somewhere. It's Simba. You guys don't know Simba? He's my clickbait. That's all he's good for. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, buddy. I love you so much. Are you a good boy? Oh, sorry. I still don't him. Sorry, buddy. But yeah. I'm gonna go to the gym because I just ate. I uh, need to do a workout. Leg day today. Um, and 
I'll see what happens. Uh, if there's anything more that I need to cover after that trip to the mangroves and seagrass area. Hopefully, it all turns out great and I can talk to you guys about mangroves because some of the footage is quite cool. We Actually, the only species we saw, really, uh, from what I could see, I don't know what the camera picked up, was brim. It was teeming with brim. There were chockers full of brim. So, yeah, more of that to come. Little Simbi. Hey, Simba. No. What did he do? He wants belly rub. He wants his belly rubs. Alright. So you guys back on him. Oh, you a sucko. You. What are you doing? Alright, so you just saw me on the boat. Uh, now I'm back at home. So, not much I can say there. Um, yeah, something happened. Uh, so we just decided... We'll go back home and just chill for a bit, so I'm just waiting for the parents to get back and for my little doggo, my doggerino Simba, to get back here. But I figured I might as well just end it off because there's nothing really else I can say. Um, all the stuff was filmed yesterday. Uh, it was mainly just a day to go out, see what we could find over in the mangroves area and in the seagrass. Uh, didn't find much in the seagrass, found a fair amount in the mangroves. I will talk about that, or I would have talked about that. Come on, Zach. Keep up, keep up, up. Um, so yeah, you would have seen that. Uh, I need to film and record all of that, but I also have another idea that I want to do with the channel um, where I kind of engage the community, or you guys, more into it and hopefully get other people interested in what I'm doing and uh, force them to, I guess, think about our oceans uh, and the marine life that's in them and see how many people I can get to ask me questions, you know? Um, ask me questions and I'll give you the answers as best as I can. So that'll all be over um, on Instagram and I'll, I guess, try and do it on the channel um, once everything is up and running and I get more people interested in what I'm doing. So, in saying that, my name is Sloppy Dugong, aka Zach. I hope you enjoyed the video and remember to educate, don't eradicate. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. Catch you later.